Thank you for the introduction. Hi, I'm Kang Minet Kaist. I am today to present to you about OmniScatter, extreme sensitivity millimeter effect scattering using commodity FMCW radars. Uh, this work was done in collaboration with my uh, advisor, Professor Song Min Kim, and also in collaboration with the George Mason and the Arizona State. We are experiencing a rapid growth of IoT. Our lifestyles are changing every day with more and more connected devices. And in order to sustain such abrupt growth, massive connectivity has become a new watchword for the success of IoT. Consequently, the number of IoT devices produced are anticipated to reach a trillion devices by 2035. And uh, 6G is aiming for network density of 10 devices per square meter uh, to support the exponential growth. However, in reality, a uh, practical system supporting such massive demands are very hard to find. So uh, we thought to ourselves, maybe we should make one for the prosperous future. Millimeter wave backscatter is an attractive solution for massive. Uh, millimeter wave offers over 10 gigahertz of continuous bandwidth, uh, which can support uh, uh, sorry, uh, for, for massive capacity. And this is more than two orders of magnitude larger than the 900 megahertz or 2.4 gigahertz uh, bands. In addition, Backscatter offers ultra low power operation in tens of microwatts. Uh, the scalability from the large bandwidth and uh, the ease of deployment with, from the backscatter uh, can enable a massive connectivity. Exploiting such benefits, OmniScatter proposed millimeter wave backscatter for massive applications. The robustness of OmniScatter is comparable to 900 megahertz RFID, enabling deployment in practical environments. The communication range of OmniScatter reaches 50 meters without beamforming. Our trace-driven evaluation uh, demonstrates concurrent communication scaling over thousands of tags. Furthermore, OmniScatter can be implemented on commodity radars for compatibility. However, millimeter wave has its problems. Uh, a critical problem is that uh, the high attenuation of millimeter wave, uh, along with the backscatter reflection loss, together they make millimeter wave backscatter very fragile. This severely undermines the practical deployment of the tags. Uh, a potential solution to the loss is the FMCW radar. The FMCW radar coding gain efficiently translates large bandwidths to boosted signal power. This is ideal for millimeter wave where uh, you get about 14 gigahertz of bandwidth. The problem is FMCW coding gain applies to all received signals. This includes the clutter noise along with the tag signal. As a result, there is no practical SNR gain uh, in using the FMCW radar. So our challenge is to isolate the tag signal to translate the FMCW gain to the SNR gain. Our innovative design does exactly this. We eliminate uh, the ambient reflections while retaining the coding gain of FMCW. By doing so, our design the high-definition FMCW achieves an astonishing sensitivity of minus 115 dBm. Let me explain the principles of HD FMCW by comparing it to the original FMCW. The original FMCW utilizes something called CHIRP. The CHIRP is able to express ambient clutter at different distances to different frequency peaks. For instance, trees and buildings near the radar will be presented as the frequency peaks. HDFMCW leverages a set of time continuous chirps. This differs from the original FMCW, which uses time discontinuous chirp. This seemingly simple modification makes a big difference 
in tag representation. In FMCW, the tag signal is summed up on top of the clutter noise. While in HDFMCW, the tag signal is represented at exclusive frequency bins separate from the clutter. The tag isolation in HDFMCW can be explained as follows. Let us denote the HDFMCW as ST, which is basically N repetitions of chirp CT. The large T denotes the period here. Clutter noise is essentially ST with the round trip delay. Thus, the clutter noise sustains the period T. Now, by the Fourier theorem, a signal with period T is represented only at the multiples of 1 over T hertz. Note that this leaves other frequency bins empty. In the meanwhile, the tag signal does not comply to the period T. This means that the tag response is no longer represented at the integer multiples of 1 over T hertz. Instead, the tag signal is represented at the empty bins of HDFMCW. As a result, tag signal is essentially isolated from the clutter noise. For an illustrative example of the HDFMCW operation, we provide actual um, uh, experiment result of OmniScatter. And let's zoom into a tag signal. Uh, it is clearly visible that the tag signal is separated from clutter with HDFMCW. This achieves SNR of about 30 dB. Compared to the original FMCW, where the tag signals are buried in the intense clutter noise, HDFMCW provides over 50 dB SNR gain. So it is clearly visible here that HDFMCW can translate the FMCW gain to the SNR gain. At the end of the day, we want to achieve massive connectivity. With HDFMCW, we have achieved robustness for pervasive deployment of tags. Now, uh, we need a method to achieve scalability. Achieving scalability at OmniScatter is made possible by the coordination-free FDMA. This is a design that uh, scales to thousands of concurrent tag by utilizing the large millimeter wave bandwidth. Coordination-free FDMA, uh, FDMA utilizes radar property, a radar property that uh, frequency increases linear to distance at radar. Thus, a channel is assigned by the physical location of the tags. At typical 60 gigahertz omniscatter, 39 kilohertz is shifted at every 10.7 millimeters. This means the channel changes at every 10.7 millimeters with 39 kilohertz bandwidth. Ultimately, this means backscatter tags with low power oscillators can utilize the large millimeter wave bandwidth. In frequency domain, the channels can be represented like this, where you can see uh, the tags at different distances are assigned to different channels. Now, some may be wondering what happens when multiple tags are assigned to the same channel, where collision within a channel is highly unlikely. Uh, this is because, first, uh, the short channel distance of 10.7 millimeters. Uh, so there is very little chance that multiple tags are assigned to the same channel. Second, uh, the large number of frequency bins at its channel supports channel sharing. For example, our practical evaluation settings hold over, a uh, over 100 tags per channel. <coughs> OmniScatter can be configured for disparate performance demands or deployment settings. Uh, the throughput, coverage, and the scalability has a trade-off relationship. A trade-off between the coverage and throughput can be set by adjusting the chirp duration, where reducing the chirp duration enhances throughput but uh, harms coverage. Also, a trade-off between scalability and throughput can be set by controlling the number of chirps. This is a uh, done by increasing the number of chirps enhances the scalability, but at the cost of throughput. The OmniScatter is implemented and verified at 24 gigahertz and 60 gigahertz commodity radars. 
along with a custom US operator. Furthermore, we built custom tags for OmniScatter. This includes retro reflective tag built on the Banata array, as well as a prototype tag uh, with 20 dB isolation difference between the tag states. To demonstrate the pervasive deployment of OmniScatter, evaluation in a practical office space in 10 meter by 10 meter was conducted. Tags are deployed throughout the office where they communicate with an omnidirectional radar. Let's take a closer look at a few interesting deployments. A tag was placed inside a wooden, ca wooden cabinet with the doors closed. Another tag was enclosed in a cardboard box. Some other tags were hidden inside a bookcase or blocked by metal partitions. Regardless, each and every one of the tag signals were successfully received. The SNR stayed over 28 dB and the BER stayed below 0.07 for all the tags. To verify the scalability of OmniScatter, a large-scale trace-driven evaluation emulating 1,100 concurrent tag transmission was conducted. Measurement was made at a large hall where the tag was moved to all 1,100 positions for measurement. The measurements were summed up to emulate concurrent transmission. The figure at the top shows the successful demodulation of concurrent 1,100 tags. Each tag signal is visible with a red peak. The BER is kept below 1.5% with the 1,100 tags, where a simple two repetition coding can reduce the BER to less than 0.5%. Altogether, the result proves the support of massive connectivity at OmniScatter. In summary, we propose OmniScatter, a practical millimeter backscatter for massive connectivity. Our design achieves extreme sensitivity of minus 115 dBm, which efficiently mitigates the high loss of the millimeter bandwidth, uh, millimeter backscatter. Also, OmniScatter scales to thousands of concurrent communication. For more details, please refer to, my, to our paper. Thank you.